Hello and welcome to my tutorial on the Set Imported Terrain Offset Cheat. To open the cheat box, hold Ctrl and Shift keys and type C. I'm doing it in Dragon Valley. Several people have asked me for more tutorials and this particular cheat is something that will come in very useful for anybody who has ever tried to place a lot and had it sink below the surrounding terrain or poked up so high that your sim couldn't actually get in and out of the lot. You'll find that this happens particularly with things that are built on a foundation or have a basement. And also you'll find it with ports and I find that a useful cheat for dive lots as well. But dive lots are a separate topic and I'll cover them in a different tutorial. And this one we're just looking at placing a build on ground that is not at the same level as the build was originally meant for. Now I've started out with my castle on very uneven ground and this is probably the most difficult one. You see how high up the entrance is. Now this castle was designed to take horses cats, dogs and all other sorts of sims. But none of them, we don't have a bird that can fly, but otherwise sims can't, just can't get in there. So I decided I'd do set imported terrain offset of 3, minus 3 sorry, which will drop the height and it went down but it's still not down far enough. So that's where you type the cheat in and we'll try again. Now I had a bit of an accident here. As I got to this point, the computer went off. I discovered that it was actually a power failure, not a computer problem, other than the computer won't run with that electricity. So I hadn't saved, which meant I had to start again. And next time I placed it, I didn't have it in such a good spot for the entrance. And when I got the level right, it was in a position where I don't even think a horse could get in but I tried it with my sim and she could get in there okay so then I did it with a house and the video of course is too dark to see what's going on now this house was originally built on this lot it's a flat lot so I made it set imported terrain offset minus three to show you what would happen it drops it below the level of the surrounding terrain now I have previously placed a build in a different world and had it go down that far. So I've had to then use the cheat to raise it up. That minus three, the minus number will actually push it down lower. If you don't put the minus sign in front of the number, the house will go up higher against the terrain. It'll raise the level. So if you place a house or a build on terrain and it sinks below the surface, then you need to use a positive number but if it is way up too high above the surface then you need to use a negative number because you need to lower it. You probably need to watch this tutorial half a dozen times to actually work it out what I'm talking about. Now those, because the numbers what's so critical, minus numbers will lower the level of the placed property and positive numbers or numbers without a sign will raise it up higher. You can use any number, you just got to keep trying, you use any number that you think will work and including decimal points like you can put 0 0.03 if it's just a tiny little bit too high or too low. In this instance I knew that this house would fit flat on this lot because this is a lot that I built it on originally. So when I reset it back to set input, in set imported terrain offset zero, then it just sat there perfectly. So I've only covered one cheat in this particular tutorial because I think it's just complicated enough all by itself. This is not really a cheat for builders, this is a cheat for anybody who wants to use a build that needs to put that build into a lot that the build wasn't originally meant for and when that's placed it is above or below the ground level and you can't just smooth it around to make it fit 
because you can use the terrain smoothing tool. At the end of the video I'll just add a little bit extra on a little park that I made and place it in Sunset Valley so you can see how I've smoothed the terrain around it. Okay now you can see the house is flat. I've placed the house back. I've set input terrain offset equals zero because now we know that that house that I actually built this house on this lot so I knew it would be fit with set input terrain offset zero and that's the default. If you haven't changed the number by using the cheat well then the default will be zero. And don't forget to set it back to zero if you're going to add new lots that might fit. Now dive lots are more difficult, I'll talk about them later. Now, this is a little park to show you the terrain smoothing tool. It's not a cheat, it's something that you find in build mode under the terrain tools. First of all I built a little park on a piece of ground that's uneven and high up in Dragon Valley. Now this little park doesn't have a basement or a foundation so it should just go onto any lot at any level. And I've added my witch Belinda who some of you will have been watching in my mermaids, my colourful mermaids videos because I turned her into a witch who's also a mermaid for that series of videos. Now here's the little park, it's finished and there's Belinda. Whenever you build something you should always test it, make sure a sim can actually get onto it because all sorts of things can go wrong without you knowing it. And this park was so successful that there were several townies suddenly decided to visit it while I had her up there testing it and she was only there for about a minute and she had a townie to talk to and then there was another one, I think it was Martin Eames carried his toddler up He's just watch him coming up the hill there. So the townies from Dragon Valley must have really wanted to park up high up here. It's the only thing up on this high land at the moment. In my big game, this is where I've built a whole village for my witches. But that's a different story altogether. Now I'm going to place this little park into my library and then I will take it into Sunset Valley. So here we go in Sunset Valley and I'm going to put Belinda in a house in Sunset Valley and then I will place the little park on an empty lot. So there's the park placed on the lot. As you can see one side of it is poking up into the air and the other side of it's dug deep underneath the ground. It's not very good the way it's placed but it's not something that offset terrain will fix so we soften it with the soften terrain tool. You wouldn't be able to fix this issue with your set terra imported terrain offset sheet. So we just use the terrain smoothing tool to soften the terrain around it so sims can get into it okay. They probably could have got into it okay anyway but it looks so much nicer if the terrain suits. Apparently you've got to be careful not to get this tool too close to the road because sometimes it can cause issues with breaking the routing, particularly if your road is not even. I read that the other day. So just go over it around the edges so that it's nice and smooth and looks just how you like it. And then once it's done you send a sim in to test it because you might have broken the routing. So you'd want to save before you smooth the tool and not save until after you've tested it. Because if your routing got broken while you were doing that you don't want your save to be have broken, broken routing. And if it still looks a bit messy you can go always go back into build mode and try again. Do a bit more. So she can sit at that table okay there's nothing much else there on this particular park for her to do but I did notice something interesting happened quite unnecessary to show you the next bit but I thought it was a bit of fun you'll all have Sunset Valley you will all know this particular family 
they wandered over from next door to check out the park as well. Yep, it's the bunch crew. They were looking particularly unattractive today. Actually, it surprised me at how unattractive they looked. But they're a lot of fun. And Judy Bunch needs one more baby. She's only got four at this point. She needs one more baby to satisfy her lifetime wish. And that's it. There's the house that we placed in Dragon Valley. And there's the castle. Hope you learnt something. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.